not the typical truck we see your ass no. in most days. No, the truck needed gas and I was too lazy to stop. Yeah, yeah I don't blame you. Don't blame you a bit. How are you? Good, my friend. Good, Good to see you. Good to see you. Yep. Staying busy. Staying yeah. busy. Crazy, crazy. As are you, I'm sure. Yeah, I brought some presents for Troy. Oh! Hey, I knew right you, I know how much like that stuff. This is a, uh, like the WD-40 stuff. Kind oh, yeah. Of. Yeah, yeah. Just the penetrating scared. oil. Oh, yeah. Workshop size, buddy. Yeah, that's awesome. That's the good yeah. stuff. Yep. For Sweet. Spraying all those squeaky can am parts. That's for one. That's, that's it. For one. <laughs> what do we got up here, Trev? What do we got up here? I got uh, So we got lots of goodies. So we got uh, your QSC clutch. Oh, baby. It's really, really pretty. Really uh, pretty. She's got weights and a whole setup. Uh, yeah, so this one's actually set up just for you. Adam took a little extra time and made sure this one was done right for your bike. Look at that, boys. And, sneak, uh, sneak peek before we get into it. Yep. Oh yeah, man. 
And then uh, I think we've got, in one of these, we have a straight pipe for an X3. <laughs> That's exciting. You guys saw a little shot of this maybe at the Power yeah. Trade Show there, but yeah. Uh, yeah, this is going to be awesome, boys. I can't wait. Craig, Craig Weston was telling me that it really opens up the machine. Yeah, yeah, like, he's like, you're screaming at your passenger at idle, but you're going to love it, man. <laughs> and then the cat delete. The cat delete pipe right there, boys. So that's awesome. No it's problem. Testament to service, dirty life. Meeting you at the Tim Hortons. <laughs> Meeting me at the Timmy's halfway point. You got this unlocked, Troy? Yeah, yeah, right on. Yeah, throw in there. We'll throw some stuff in there. No, I'm okay, thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. Let's throw this right up with me. QSC bling. Oh, yeah, boys. Shop date. Back in the shop. You ride one weekend, you get in the shop the next weekend. That's just how it goes with these Can-Ams, man. I don't know what else to see. Just way she goes, see? Eh? All right, boys. We're going to grab a coffee. We'll get out of here. We'll get back to the shop and uh, get to work. Cheers. Gotta stop and get some stickers. Yeah, we're driving by my sticker guy here, and uh, it is Sunday, so he's probably sleeping, but. Uh, oh, he's ornery on his off days, but we'll stop. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Them are his beer days. <laughs> we're stopping in at beer time. Yeah, like the rest of us. Although it's coffee for us today. Boys were up late last night, brother had a little birthday party, a little soiree. Yeah. I was warming for Doug, too, you said? Yep. So he just bought that house? No, no, he bought the house, ripped most of the house down, and rebuilt the house. So come see my new house. All right, I see. Yep. Right on. That's all that. Lots in the in the works. You guys might get a peek today. Uh, Phil, Phil went shopping for his for his. Uh, I was gonna say old lady. That's not very nice. His wife. Cause what? So when when she got the used, she got a used Polaris High Lifter 850. Yeah, it was almost like new. It was almost new, yeah. A few nice add-ons, which uh, Phil liked as well, right? Yeah. Um, kept him from having to do some more work there that he was definitely going to do anyway. So things like uh, pinion plate cover, I think two-inch bracket lift, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, exhaust system was already on it. No. Yep. yep. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, she had kind of showed early interest in the RS1. So uh, being... Uh, being that the whole family bleeds Polaris blood like they do. And Phil really loves the dealer he works with. I can't remember their name. Black Blacks? Blacks Corners. I'm not sure the exact. Blacks Corners. Somewhere down here on number seven, right? The other way. Uh, it's toward Ottawa. Ottawa, okay. Anyways, they treat him so darn good that uh, he raced back there. And just after his son got a brand new, brand new Scrammy. Well, the problem is his wife's addicted to speed on machines and a high lifter just ain't gonna curb that enthusiasm only in the mud so she got something fast anyways we're here at the sticker guy's place and this is day off so i'll give him a quick buzz and see if he's okay with me uh doing an early pickup but uh yeah cheers boys we'll see you in a bit hello hello you're on youtube how do you feel about that hey <laughs> This call may be monitored. <laughs> the, uh, uh, we just met Trevor at uh, <laughs> the Timmy's or whatever. And box, oh, yeah. Boxes full of parts. Um, uh, I think we're probably going to do it over at Ian's garage because just uh, size differences. Lacey's got ours filled with parts. So, uh, oh, yeah. I uh, didn't know if you wanted to pop over or what you want to do there. We're just passing. Yeah, uh, yeah we're just getting it to the... Um, we're getting onto the back road right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta pick her up. Uh, she's all done work there too, so. Yeah, right on. I don't know if she was wanting to go to town or what. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Well, if you can get the keys for it and you're allowed, if you ask her nice. <laughs> I don't need to ask. Oh, that's on video. <laughs> Have you been that's out? on video, yeah. buddy. <laughs> we'll, we'll let it that out. Don't worry. I got a no. spare key. There you go. <laughs> Does it come with Does it come with two keys like the Can Am? One for half power? She give you? No. 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 She, she's full on full, full power. Yeah, the boy. You been out in it yet? Obviously, yeah. Yeah, got uh, around 120 clicks there on her now. What's your first impressions? Awesome. Yeah, eh? pretty cool. Totally different. Yeah, for sure it is. You yeah. know it is. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to it big time. Yeah, it's it's. 
totally there. It's hard to explain. Yeah, it would be. And that's the way the X3 is too. So this would be in a class of its own as well. So, and you got nothing to compare it against. So, I mean, no, pretty, pretty cool. For right? sure. Pretty cool. Right on. Yeah. Right on. It's definitely, uh, yeah, it's nothing like a four wheeler for sure. Yeah. We're getting into the bad reception here, boys. Uh, hitting the rocks in the back road, but, uh, I think we just got cut off, but we'll talk to you if you can't hear us, Phil. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, he's gone, boys. Okay, we're not going to waste any time. Yeah, right on down to Buddy's shop. Oh, hey, Troy, you drive right through all that slop. Oh, brother. Oh, yeah, what a mucky mess. Weather is not being favorable at all, man. This is garbage. March 31st today. Brutal. We were done with this shit. All right, boys. Lance is bringing it around for us. Right on. Sounds good, looks good. Plenty good, plenty good. Sweet. All right, should we just go inside and let this exhaust cool down for five minutes? I don't think it would have warmed up that much, to be honest with you. What do you think? The pipe's hot. Is she pretty hot? <laughs> yeah, the actual pipe. Yeah, all right, well, we can wait. Oh, show you some tunes. <laughs> Show us some tunes, some sounds, is that what you said? I got upstairs. Yeah, you do. Alright, let's go check out Lance's little uh, jam room. No bass, yeah. It's got a good tempo. We got some visitors, boys. Let's go see what's you going ever seen on Chris out Farley? there. You ever seen Chris Farley? <laughs> Batman He's in a little, little coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get told I sound like him all the time. Believe that. What is going on? What do we got here, folks? Look at that. Wicked. Did you get a new suit to go with it or? Uh, oh no. It's just her colors. <laughs> this is just mine. Just had to get it to match, hey? Eh? That looks awesome. So there we were just sitting in it a few weeks back at Bonner's and uh, Phil went on down to Black's Corners. Is this right? Yeah. Right on. That's where Phil likes to buy all his toys. <laughs> Man, that thing is cool looking. That's awesome. Those tires fit well. Pro Armors, what size rim? 16s or? 14s. So they're just 14s. That's what came on it, right? Or no? Yeah. 14s are stock, but the Pro Armors aren't. Yeah. Pro Armors tires brand now, I guess. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, they bought Pro Armor, so. And the tires are Pro Armor as well, eh? Yep. They're the crawler. Oh, yeah, man. That is so cool, man. That is so freaking cool. Yeah, he was like, well, what size of tires do you want to run? I was like, how big can we go? He said, well, go big as you can and get her done. Yeah, do it right away. Might as well go to the 32s and yeah. there's no shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's done. Yeah. Ready to rock. They look like they'll work pretty good too, those treads. They seem to hook. There's, there's enough lug there. There's enough lug there. It was a little skatey there in the snow there. She was so if, if she ever wants a little extra tread to her 30s that she's got on her friggin' bike, you can swap them real quick too. Yeah, you sure could. I think these are gonna suit it well. I think, I think so too, yeah. Keep the wheel speed out. Yeah, perfect They're style. rated for uh, 4,000 miles, the tires. Yeah, so yeah. They're probably, gonna, they're probably gonna last for a long time. He said an ATV tire, like a softer ATV tire lead it up. Yeah. 
this exhaust is like butter just coming right out of there, really. Uh, so we get to a little V-band clamp that wants to be seized up, but uh, isn't that something? Isn't that crazy? Ian, I think, was driving a little too fast in his Cadillac. Yeah. Cadillacs take bumps, but they don't take that kind of bump. No, man, that's crazy. That's nuts. It really is nuts. Just no, destroyed it. Yeah. Just destroyed it. The potholes on this fucking road product. Not this road of Bancroft. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Oh, no. What are you guys getting here? Stare up. I got to be back here. <laughs> are you ready, folks? <laughs> RJWC straight bite. Here we go. Give us that tune. see that that's intense Whew, that is intense ridiculous all right well that's one one machine down all loaded up oh, yeah. first little add-on boys looks good Thanks again, eh? Appreciate it. No problem. Probably be back next weekend. Oh, yeah. Sounded healthy. Phil was on the horn with Trevor trying to get a snorkel of your ATV kit for his young lad's new scrambler. It was a lot of fun, man. I like that unit. That is cool. Look at that thing. 
<laughs> Does he do a wheelie in it? Oh, he stood it right up, yo. <laughs> right up. Yeah, they a little too down, far. Yeah, they come down hard when well, you go up. Well, the road's far. getting softer, so he bit right in there. And she just gave her the old sideways, too. That's great. Yeah, they, uh, I put mine up straight up one time, and it came up a little quicker than I thought. When she came down, she just hooked up the arm right out here. Yeah, side. no doubt, man, no doubt. All right, we'll stop by and see you before I take off. Right on. Well, that's it. Look at the salt, holy crap. We gotta give her a wash and we're gonna get her back to town and I'm gonna drop her off at Bay Marine cause the boys wanna go over the whole machine and just uh, set up the suspension better for what we're uh, about to use it for. Look at it. There goes the ramage. Ram man. All right. So I've been invited to uh, stay for dinner and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have some quality time with good friends. All right, Let's so. Let's see what you've done. So I just I know. did the Fox recommended tune. Okay, it's sitting up higher. I can tell right from the road pulling in. and a half inches is your ride height. But they actually oh, specify that in the catalog and they don't set the suspension, so you don't get that. Okay, okay. Well, and that's when you good set it, it looks awesome. And the, the you're actually using the crossover. So I spun it down from race, basically about there. So three inches at least. Down to yeah. there, yeah, yeah, roughly three yeah. inches. is about two and three quarters. As per the ride uh, recommendations from Fox. Yep. And they weren't. There was no preload on the spring from factory. None. When I start turning the spring, I could turn it as easy as possible. I, I think I read something like that too. Yeah. That other guys were saying the same thing. That it's amazing the difference that uh, do that setup. And it took two and a half hours to do all four. This unit's not. This new. It was just nuts. This unit. That great out, boys. Looking wicked. Tank. She is a tank, man. No, that's. Clean. Yeah. What about the back? Did you have to do much on them as well? Like yeah, as far as so cranking them down? Idea. Same idea, good three inches or more. Oh uh, well you can see I Oh I can, yeah. Yep. Right there. Yep. And then your crossover comes down to here. Yeah. Uh, what I found if you don't break the crossover free first, uh you won't be able to spin the spring. So always do the spring. That's funny because a Cody just sent me a message the other day about his high lifter. Yeah. And apparently without the adjustment, you're not even using any of the spring up top. It's I, literally exactly. completely bottomed so right out. I wasn't hardly using any of that spring and now my ride quality is twice as good because the top spring on the suspension, yeah. this crossover is what provides you with your um, your comfort. Yeah. And this bottom spring is what provides you with your lift. Yeah, okay, okay. Before I did my setup, this part of the shock wasn't even exposed. Oh, That's man. how low it was sitting. So this is what we got to do to the uh, the XMR. XMR. Get Absolutely, down, get her up. Nice and tall. Oh boys. Awesome, buddy. Right, Let's go in and get a copy. Yes, sir. Man, that Next sounds time. sick, eh? You see this thing? The hell's that? Auction unit. Jesus, man. K's on. That is killer. Number thirty-two. Already. Is it? Yeah. The dead long. That's where she goes down here, Bay Marine boys. Sure. Cheers. Well, let's run that baby on down the hill. And then we'll take the trailer down there as well and we'll get rid of that. Oh. We'll terrorize the shop for a minute, boys.
love it. I love it. Man, this thing sounds so much more like an X3 turbo. Like now you can hear the turbos. Big time you can hear it. <laughs> All right, we'll get back up, get the trailer, drop it off for the boys and uh, get out of Dodge and let them do some work because that's what they're here for. She's not all about the play. Sometimes it's about the work, eh? Lots of units to kick out, get ready for spring. Thanks to you guys. Man, what a ton of fun. We're gonna have a great year ahead of us, boys. You just wait and see. That's it for today, folks. That's our little garage video, man. And if you like what you saw, then uh, jump on there and click the subscribe and hit the bell for all the notifications. All right, cheers.